in this video I'm going to show you how to include images in your web page you can download the starting file from the blackboard and then you would see the index.html and a picture that you are going to use in your web page I'm going to open it with Firefox and see how it looks like it has a familiar CSS attributes for example it has um, embedded styling that means you are using the style tag and including all the rules the background color should be this color and then the text or the font color then you have an h1 and h2 with the same color and background color and then you have a uh, this one is class because you it's starting with the dot name so you can see that you would see a company name class somewhere in your html file i'm going to open that in notepad plus plus so i can start editing so and it this way you can see it better too so basically this file has some background colors and some uh, some one thing i wanted to notice in this is that in the h1 tag they are putting a height of 86 pixels h1 has a specific height but here we are overriding that you are saying that the height of the h1 tag should be 86 pixel the reason that we are go we are doing it is because we are going to put a picture there that picture if you notice here has the height of 86 length 700 pixels and the height 86 so you want that to be exactly the same as that of that background now what we want to do is instead of the, he the heading being like this we want to put an image there so just to be sure this is how it looks like so we want to put an image instead of the text there so we can go back to your uh, so we, we are going to take that text off you know that you can nest uh, HTML tag so I'm going to put instead of that text I'm going to put an image tag I'm going to put an image in there so the image tag is IMG in HTML5 image tag is a standalone tag that means it does not it doesn't need a closing tag but in HTML you can see if you put a you know a closing tag closing forward slash that would comply with your x html standard but we are following html5 standard so you can consider this uh, simply a standalone or void tag now um, the attributes for image you need the source right it's not href so make sure that you know that in image tag the attribute is source source equals and uh, the the picture the file I have is called Trillium banner .jpg. make sure that you read the textbook and you know what JPEG or GIF or PNG pictures are uh, their differences and everything make sure that you read the textbook thoroughly now another attribute that you would use is all tag all tag is very important especially for uh, accessibility because if somebody who is visually handicapped wants to read through this uh, this page they cannot see the pictures but they would they can read from the braille uh, you know reader they can they will be looking for all tag so it's a good idea to put a descriptive name there so uh, So I'm just going to put some uh, information here. I will see you. I'll show you how it would uh, look 
like in your um, uh, web page. So you have the source attribute and the alt attribute. Then you can specify the width and height of your image. It would be really good if you put the same height and width as your image. Otherwise, it would, you know, uh, get stretched out and things like that. If you have a smaller picture and you are trying to put that into a bigger, uh, you know, image uh, tag, it will stretch. So, in here you have a 700 by uh, 86 pixel picture. So, we are going to put exactly the same. So, width and height are, they are also uh, the other attributes that we are interested in. All right. Make sure that you have the correct path to your image source. Here, it, I put it in the same folder, so I can directly say trilliumbanner.jpg. I don't have to uh, give any folders and things like that. So basically, to put an image, you use the image tag and put the source to uh, source to uh, the picture that you want to put in. So I'm going to save this, and maybe I can go back here and see how it looks like so now you have the picture uh, that's already been made so uh, that's how you incorporate see since you have that h1 tag it's the kind of same color as the background color of this picture it feels like it can it, it you have the whole picture uh, like that so uh, that is a good thing to remember to have that tag of the height and just up to that of the image so so it's pretty simple how to um, you know put your uh, image into a web page